And did you watch the other Benefit Street? Do you think this is different in that it feels to me like there is more heart to there's it? More, there is. There's more warmth. I mean, I mean, everybody to their own. You know, everybody lives how they live, and we live with nobody to judge. But, but where we live, we feel as if we've, we've got a lot of warmth. You know, in in every aspect. I mean, down to people of 92 as in the down to young ones you know they are everybody just looks after each other and um, you can look outside your front door and there's somebody there but going back to how to watch the other program I hadn't I hadn't seen it um, but then I was shown you know what it was about but as I say everybody to their own you know that's I don't judge nobody and you know but, but that's how we are and as you'll see in the program when when it unfolds and people, the... uh, people do do judge um, no matter no matter how hard you try and no yeah. matter the heart you show of your community you, you will be judged yeah. on it uh, Pat says walk a mile in someone else's shoes before you judge them yeah. mm. um, uh, uh, Julie you're on um, you were on carers allowance now you're on bereavement allowance and uh, and Sue you've got employment support allowance and that's because mm. uh, really you, you had a you had a mm. breakdown didn't yeah. you and, mm. and I had came to out to work. work a year gone January um, yeah. I suffered a, a, a mental breakdown. I was hospitalised. Um, I had the crisis team support thing. But then, after all that, it was my community really. I mean, I suffered. I couldn't go to the house uh, after that breakdown. And if it hadn't been for where I lived and the people around me, you know, who knows where I could have been because there was aspects of, of me being. And of course, you gave everything up to look yeah. after your son. Yeah, uh, he used to be um, the Tyler Link worker. That was that was my um, job title. Uh, I was uh, liaised with linked people into agencies, what they need to work for. Uh, I was a youth and community worker, senior youth leader. Um, and when Regan took Pooley, I loved my job, but I loved my son more. Of course, you think yeah. you said that um, although there is a great community, that there are, uh, that there are people <coughs> within that community who are desperate to get a job, to get work, yeah. to get out. Yeah. They've applied yeah. for countless jobs and been yeah. knocked back. Yeah. And so what is the general feeling there within everyone? Uh, within everyone? Um, I mean, like you're saying there, there is young lads that are trying to get work, you know, I mean, they're, they're trying to get on courses to go and get the badges for different works. Um, there's people on our estate, who like, like, like for instance Julie, who couldn't go to work for 15 years. I mean, I really do want to go back to work but once I get myself right I, I do look forward to going back to work and like you say and there's who's anybody to judge you know if there's no work out there for people to mm. to, to grasp at what what can you do really do you know you can't live off fresh air mm. you know so, so then that's when the benefit system does come in but um i do believe and like me and julia have spoke about about the bedroom tax haven't we i mean that that's it's just not fair it's sanctions, just not fair. It's bedroom sanctions, tax zero um, hour contracts the, all of it and yeah. Turning political, now conservatives are in, people like us, we're just going to be on our knees. Mm -hmm. I, because I lost Regan, I've got a four-bedroom council house, and there's only myself and Cameron, that's my youngest son in there, so I'm t I could lose my home. 